Did you ever wonder what really goes on inside a design engineering office? Well, the designers and engineers are working very hard trying to meet some deadline to release the drawings. Then the drawings go out to the people that are going to use the drawings for a drawing review. But by then, it's too late. They ask for changes that will help out with the production or inspection of the parts. But engineering is usually off doing something else and doesn't have the time to go back and make those changes. This ends up creating an adversarial relationship between design and the folks that are using the drawing. Consequently, production, inspection has to develop their own tribal knowledge, which a lot of people call troubleshooting, at the startup in order to make the parts in spite of the drawings. Many people wait until they find a problem and then fix it. And by then it's, it's too late. So what's the solution? Well, you pull together the multifunctional design team. And I don't mean just designers and engineers. You pull together the people that are going to use the drawing before the drawing ever gets made. Before the datums and the geometric controls have been added. Design produces the drawing. So they're the supplier of the drawing. And whoever receives it becomes design's customer. So not only does design have to make sure that what they put on the drawing will satisfy design intent, but it has to be producible and it has to be inspectable. So we must meet design intent, it must be producible, and it must be inspectable. The way you do this is to pull together the team and discuss how the parts are going to be assembled, what the critical features are, what kind of tolerances can actually be held, what the inspection methods will be, and then the answers to those questions are documented using datums and geometric tolerances. It's time for drawing previews at the model stage. Don't wait until the drawing's made and then have a review.